Good morning, everyone, and happy Sunday. I'm so excited to be with you for another episode of Virtual Sunday School. So we're going to jump right in today. So, do you like surprises? Do you like when things change? It probably depends on if it's a good surprise, right? But even good changes can be challenging, like when you start a new school year. So today we're going to be talking about surprises and change. So I'd like you all to think about a good surprise or change and a not so good surprise or change that's happened since we were together last. I know for me, a good surprise out of all the crazy that's going on right now is just being able to spend more time with family. Um, but of course, a not go so good surprise is not being able to see you guys um, and just missing the people that are far away that I can't see. So for our opening prayer, I'll say a few petitions and end each one by saying, can I get a witness? So you'll respond, we will be a witness. Nice and loud. You try. Can I get a witness? Let's pray. Jesus, we know about you because others have told your story. Who will tell it now? Can I get a witness? Your spirit gives us strength to carry on, even when it's a rock road. Can I get a witness? The world keeps on changing, but your love remains the same. Can I get a witness? Bring us together now to lift our eyes to heaven to hear your story again. Can I get a witness? All God's children say, Amen. Awesome. If you don't have your Bible with you, pause the video real quick and go grab it. So let's all turn in our Bibles to the book of Acts. Acts is in the New Testament and it comes directly after the first four books of the New Testament. Can anyone remember what those four books are in order? That's right. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. What are those first four books called? That's right. They're called the Gospels. The Gospels show us parts of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. The book of Acts continues the story where the Gospels left off. It was written by the same person who wrote the Gospel of Luke. When we find the disciples in Acts, everything is kind of confused. Jesus died, which made the disciples sad and afraid for their lives. Jesus rose again, which surprised the disciples, even though Jesus talked about it during their time together. Jesus has shown up now and then after his resurrection, but soon they will not see him anymore. Have you ever switched schools or moved? How did that make you feel? Change can be really scary, even for adults. The story we're going to read today shows us that God is with us always, and God's Spirit is given to us to help us through the tough stuff. We're going to read Acts chapter 1, verses 6 through 14. So feel free to read along with me. So let me find it for me. It's so sunny, and my pages are reflecting it so much. Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and Samaria and to the, to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men, dressed in white, stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go to heaven. Then the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the hill called the Mount of Olives, a Sabbath day walk from the city. When they arrived, they went upstairs to the room where they were staying. Those present were Peter, John, James, and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, 
and Simon and Judas. They all joined together constantly in prayer along with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. Okay, so in this passage, Jesus was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. And as the disciples were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. What would you do if you had seen that happen? I'd be pretty surprised, right? When all these things happen, what did the disciples do? They first prayed. One of the other really important parts of this passage is when Jesus gives them, the disciples, instructions. So he said, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So to be a witness for Jesus, that means that the disciples had the job of going and telling everyone about Jesus and his story and his love for everyone. So that was a pretty important job, right? So it's no wonder that the first thing that the disciples all did when Jesus rose to heaven was to pray. To pray um, that they would be able to fulfill this duty that Jesus had bestowed upon them. Okay, so I have some fun facts for you that I'll follow up with some questions for you to think about. You don't have to answer them out loud, but I just want you to think about it, okay? The word heaven means something like God's house. And we talked a little bit of God's house a few weeks ago, or last week. Um, what do you think God's house looks like? Are there bathrooms? Who cleans it? Fun fact number two. Martin Luther believed that dogs go to heaven. Do you believe that dogs go to heaven? What about cats or any other animal? Okay, fun fact number three. People asked Jesus if they would still be married in heaven. Those people were kind of trying to trap Jesus in a trick question. What do you think? If people were married on earth, should they be married in heaven? Fun fact number four. Saying heavens expresses surprise, perhaps because of what the disciples saw at Jesus' ascension. Do you think you would have believed them if the disciples told you what they saw? Okay, fun fact number five. No one knows where the vast universe ends or if heaven is in a different realm. If you could see heaven now, would you want to? Would it be hard to come back to your regular life? Would it change your life? Fun fact number six, no one knows where the phrase heavens to Betsy came from either. I've actually never heard of that phrase, but we're going with it. So heavens to Betsy. So when you look at the stars or the vastness of the universe, do you feel God's spirit with you? I hope you had some fun with those fun facts and thinking about your answers to those follow-up questions. Our story today was about change and surprise. Remember how we talked about that at the beginning of our lesson? The disciples were surprised when Jesus ascended into heaven, and they had to be able to change and adapt because Jesus was no longer with them. Change, a lot of times, is all around us. And right now especially, we see change a lot. We've had to change our everyday lives into our stay-at-home lives. We've just changed into the season of spring. From the beginning of quarantine, we transitioned from winter into spring, and now we're changing from spring into summer. Um, in the fall, you guys will be changing into a new school year, perhaps a new building, um, new friends, all of that stuff. And change can be hard, right? And we even said change can be hard for adults too. I know I always struggle with change, but Pastor Tim always says something that's always reassuring is that in change, there is always loss, but there is also always growth. And I want you to remember that during the times of change that you feel are really hard, or even if they're good, Jesus is with you. Remember that Jesus is with you in the highest of highs and the lowest of lows and all of the change in between. For our closing prayer, let's do like the disciples did and lift our eyes to heaven. 
let's all lay flat on the floor, which I'm not going to do because then you won't be able to hear me, um, but lay on the floor and look to heaven. I'll start a couple of petitions and you can add to them by finishing my sentences silently or aloud. No order, just shout something out at any time. Let's pray. Lord, you left the disciples feeling a little bit confused and nervous. Sometimes we feel that way too, especially when... Even for those who trust in you, changes can be tough. Changes like... We turn our faces toward heaven and remember to pray for May your spirit guide us this week and our whole lives through. And all God's children say, Amen. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Virtual Sunday School. Sadly, we only have two weeks left, so it's big sad. Um, but with that, I'm going to enjoy this time that we'll be able to spend over the next two weeks learning together. Um, it's supposed to be beautiful this week, so I hope that you can get outside and do something out in the sun and soak up that vitamin D. Also, don't forget that next Sunday is Kids Sunday, which is going to be a super special day celebrating all of you. Um, I'm so excited to be able to share everything that you guys have done over the past year and all the things that you've put together for me uh, and be able to show them off to the rest of our congregation. It's going to be a really special day, so I hope that you'll tune in next Sunday for that. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Have a happy Sunday, and I hope to see you next time.